Two years ago tonight, Summer Wells went missing from her Hawkins County home. The suffering in the Summer Wells community is palpable. The pain of having a little girl just disappear without a trace, made even worse by the online harassment and attacks from outside the area and online. People accusing those of trying to help Summer of somehow being involved in her disappearance simply because they knew her and loved her. Many now refusing to speak on camera because of the threats they've received. One woman is finally breaking her silence after more than a year in hopes of inspiring others to pray and to send a message to Summer. And you are loved and you are missed so very much. Robin Lane, Summer Well Sabbath School teacher. Summer is just the most amazing little girl. Had a one-of-a-kind friendship with this little ball of energy. Yes, we really clicked because Summer is just kind of silly and goofy, and I am too. Um, you can ask people who know me. They know that I'm just a silly, goofy girl. And so I think we just kind of clicked in that way that she could hang out with me and we would just laugh at the same stuff and giggle at silly, stupid things. <laughs> the giggling silenced two years now with the community still looking for answers. We miss her a lot. Just we miss the, the love, the hugs. I miss her hugs so much. She was a very loving child. A child who thrived when she felt that love right back. Yeah, she really did. She, she came to me a lot and just wanted to be held and wanted to get attention. And I love to give attention, so it worked out good. It's been a life-changing two years for Summer's special friend and teacher. I lost my mom and my dad since Summer went missing. So just add that on top of losing a little girl and missing her so much, it has been overwhelming. And I don't sleep a lot. There's a lot of times where I just lay in bed and I just pray. A hole in her heart for those lost and the pain of not knowing where could this vibrant child be? The smiling little girl who gifted Robin a necklace so proudly on Mother's Day. I just felt like, you know, the summer is kind of like a daughter to me. It feels just like I lost a child that I just was so precious and so dear that it's, that's what it feels like. But Robin says even when things are darkest, she sees something bigger. I've already been inspired so many times by people who have told me that praying for summer has made them start praying again. That because they're praying for summer, that it has made them start talking to God again. And they might have been angry at God, they might have stopped talking to God, but because this little girl's missing and they care about her, they're praying for her. And in the process of praying for summer, they're starting to have a closer walk with the Lord themselves. That inspiration has helped her forgive those who've used summer's case as clickbait silencing the voices of those speaking out for Summer, hoping to help in her safe return. And it makes everyone just want to back off and hands off because they don't want to be next. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like the answer to that is to pray for God to soften their hearts and to help them because they're hurting people too, you know? Initially, I would get angry, and now I'm just like trying to view them as people who need prayer just as much as little Summer does. And as Robin prays for Summer, she has this message for her. Summer, if you are out there, I just want you to know, little girl, that you are treasured and that you are adored and you are loved and you are missed so very much. And I just want you to know that we are not giving up on finding you, that we are not gonna lose hope in finding you. And I just want you to know that I am praying to our Heavenly Father every day for you and I will not stop. Nobody is giving up, and I know I definitely won't give up. So just be strong, little one. Hang in there, and don't, don't forget those Bible verses. Remember them. God is a very present help in trouble, that He will be with you, that He will answer you. Just cry out to Him. We love you.